Welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red, and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. You know, Steve used to use his Dutch oven all the time. This is a great Dutch oven to cook in, and so we've got a perfect recipe for you to go in it, and we're going to show you what we do. We are starting with two pounds of lean ground beef. And this is just your 80-20. And you're using our favorite chopper here. <laughs> Get that chopped up. And then... Then we're going to add one chopped sweet onion. So we're gonna get this browned up and get the onion soft. And then two teaspoons of minced garlic. Add that in there. This is so good and it's in our new cookbook. Yes, volume three of the best of Cooking with Shotgun Red is coming out October 25th, 2024. We got a lot of new recipes. Pick up a copy, the link is right there or go to shotgunred.com and get you one. You gotta get this cookbook. Yes, and then Italian seasoning. We've got three teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and we're going to put half of this in here now and reserve the other half for later. I like to season the meat. And we got three teaspoons of basil and parsley. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do half of it now and reserve the rest for later. Jen's favorite, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. She loves pepper flakes. Yeah, I do. You can use a little bit more if you like it spicier, but I'm going to start out with a half teaspoon here. Stir all that together. Add three stalks of celery, sliced. Put that in. Three carrots, sliced. And put that in. And then we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. Mix that in with all the beef. We will cover it. And we'll let that cook till it gets soft, about five, 10 minutes. Then we'll have one can of diced tomatoes. Mix that in. Some red kidney beans, rinsed. We have some white beans. And this is just your cannelloni beans. You could use regular white beans if you like, but this is what I had in, in the cupboard, so that's what I'm using. Mix all that together. Then, one jar of pasta sauce. And this is just the roasted garlic that you can use. Any kind that you like. Yeah, whatever your favorite brand is, you can use it, whatever you got in hand. So I'll mix that in gently. Careful not to smash the beans. And then four cups of beef stock. We'll add that in. Now you can use chicken stock. You can use whatever kind of stock you have on hand too. Then we're going to add some pasta. And this is your Ditalini pasta. And I'm gonna use half this box because I want to put about eight ounces. And this is a 16 ounce box. So we'll put that in. And really you could use any kind of pasta you want. But I like these for this particular dish. Mix that in a bit. Because they're small. We're going to add a tablespoon of sugar. And that's going to cut down on some of the acid in the tomato sauce. And let that simmer. We're going to cover it and let it cook for about 20 minutes or so. Then we will add the remaining seasoning. So there's the rest of the basil and the parsley. And here's the rest of the Italian seasoning. Mix that in. And I always like to wait until the very end to do the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper to taste. This is the garlic salt I'm adding in here. You could use regular salt, whatever you want. But I don't want it to be over salty, so I like to do it at the very end. And then I'm going to pull a Steve and do a little taste test here with my spoon. But I promise I'll clean off the spoon in between. But i got to do a little taste test. Pretty good. Add a little black pepper in. It's even better the next day. Oh my gosh. All that flavor in there. This dish smells amazing. Doesn't it though? Ugh. It just fills the whole kitchen. Yum. One more taste test. I'll test it. And talk about some comfort food in mm -hmm. a bowl. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Ugh, wait till you taste this. Let's bowl some of this up. All right, let's do it. Doesn't that look so good? All different kinds of things in there. Yes. As Sheila would say, it's a colorful dish. Steve would love this one. 
And that looks really, really good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Put all that in there and get, got some French bread sitting here. Add a little Parmesan cheese. Mm-hmm. Sprinkle some of that on top. And as Steve would say, Is this the best pasta fagioli you've ever had? If it ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye! Well, that's she, she and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.